I brought my Honda K-Swap Subaru to Boxerfest and survived to tell the tale. This is it, this is the tale. Boxerfest is an event that celebrates all things Subaru, especially their Boxer engines. They have a ton of things to do there. There's an exhaust competition, an all Subaru autocross, and a bunch of vendors there with all sorts of Subaru parts and apparel. There's an explicit rule that states, please do not vape near the vendor tents. This is per their request. Just mentioning that to kind of set your expectations for this event in the rest of this video. There was one particular thing that I was interested in at Boxerfest though, and that was the car show. The Boxerfest official car show is restricted only to approved cars. To get approved for the show, you need to register your car and be approved by their staff. Just for giggles, I opted to register this, my 2000 Subaru Impreza Coupe, but if you look closely, you might notice something. It don't got a boxer no more. That's right. I swapped it with the Handis K24, and baby, it got approved. I guess the staff and I have a vastly different definition on what a boxer is because folks, it ain't this. Subaru enthusiasts tend to be pretty devout to their cars and the brand itself. Some people say it's like a cult, but I tend to think of them more like a beehive. The worker bees are slaving away on their cars because as we know, they won't keep running without that constant maintenance. And me? Well, I plan to dive straight into that hive and rile up as many little bees as I possibly could. So I road tripped it to York, Pennsylvania and patiently waited in line to be escorted to the spot that I would be spending the next nine hours of my life in. That's right, once you're parked, you can't move your car. I'm not even allowed to start it. The line to the show moved pretty slow and at one point when it started moving again, I fired up my car and forgot that my first gear synchro is practically non-existent and just ground that sucker right into gear. Four lanes of cars just turned and stared. I could already tell it was going to be a good day. While in line, one of the event staff saw me, singled me out, and pulled me to the side. I couldn't tell if he was gearing up to kick me out, or if he was just excited to see something besides a bone stock WRX for a change. Speaking of stock cars, there were lots of cars that were trailered to this event. Some of which maybe didn't need to be... Like, if I can cannonball this shitbox 250 miles, you could probably do the same with your Stage 2 WRX. I know I joke about Subarus being unreliable, but they're not that unreliable. Are they? I don't work on the newer ones. I wasn't kicked out, though. During the show, tons of people stopped by to talk with me, those I'm sure you can imagine some were less than eager to stop by and have a chat. This car does tend to be quite polarizing. In general, I noticed there were two types of Subaru guys that would react to the car. The Believers and the Downers. The Believers loved the car. They asked me tons of questions about how I built it, what it ran like, how long it took to build. How in the world did you keep it all-wheel drive? All right, so it still has all the Subaru drivetrain. How much of a pain was it? Did you make it by yourself? How hard was it? How long did it take you? What's a big power one? Are you still using the Subaru transmission or? Do you know how much power this is? Something looks amiss. That's <laughs> stuff that I covered in my last video that you should really check out if you haven't yet. The downers, on the other hand, would only say things like, well, that's definitely interesting, or it's certainly different. Which is interesting. <laughs> that is unique. Hey, yo, wow. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a huge slap in the face. It's like, very interesting. Maybe they didn't like the swap, or they were upset about me using a classic Impreza Coupe because they think it's a rare car or something. Not like the swap, or they were upset about me using a classic Impreza Coupe because they think it's a rare car or something. Anyway, after talking to many people at the show, I noticed a pattern emerge. The Believers were generally experienced wrenchers. You could tell they'd built some Subarus and probably blown them up. My kind of people. These guys would look at the swap and be like, ah, no, it's okay. I, I totally get it. This, this is totally understandable. Is that a K-Series or what? Yes, it is. <laughs> you seem like a Subaru guy. You knew that was a K-Series. I'm yeah. impressed. Oh, I'm a car guy. I'm not just one thing. I like, Good. like it all. And the Downers? Maybe not so much. If they had done any wrenching, it was probably only on Subarus, and I know this because I was much like them whenever I was first getting into this hobby. Most would just scoff and walk by. If I could catch one and chat with them for a while, they would eventually admit that it's a cool swap. It's an interesting swap. Yeah, it is. Do you like it? You're a Subaru guy, aren't you? That's okay. Always. Just keep an open mind. Oh, I have one. But I feel like maybe I coerced them into saying that. Or maybe they were just so shocked by the swap that they weren't thinking clearly, who knows. There was also a surprising number of Honda fans that somehow snuck into the event, and I'm glad I could provide a safe haven for those guys in such a vape-heavy atmosphere. So, a little about me. I live under a rock, or I should say that I live under my cars. I don't typically get out much. 
But I've been trying to change that and come out of my shell more. This YouTube channel is one of the results of those efforts, as well as me going to Boxerfest. What this means, though, is that I don't really know about most car culture things. I do all my own work, so I'm not sure what vendors or shops exist, and I'm not into any sort of competitive racing, so I'm not sure what drivers or teams there are. But most of all, I just don't care about any of it. What this adds up to is that anybody that stopped by to chat with me got the same treatment. Snark, sarcasm, head gasket jokes, and shameless plugs for this channel. I keep a level playing field. That's Did you guys bring Subarus here today? Uh, we're with Intertech there, so... I don't know much about for aftermarket uh, stuff, but I think you guys are going to need this. What? Six Star! Yep. Let me borrow your dyno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 150 bucks. Okay, then yeah. I'm going to stop down because it's time. <laughs> you need a card? Yeah, here, we'll trade. <laughs> you take this? Well, you know how Subaru engines can be. They're a little temperamental. Are you guys with Subaru? Blue shirts? Yeah. What is this? That doesn't belong in there. Yes, it does. What's up, boss? You want an autograph? Up, man? How you doing? In those clips, you might have noticed that I was handing something out. What could it be? A gift? Contraband? No. It was, in fact, a charm. A charm designed specifically to ward off head gasket leak demons. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna need that more than I am at this point. You take this? Perfect. I take that. You're gonna need that. More than me. Oh, here, I got something for you. You're gonna need this. I'll keep you safe. Get a load of this guy. That's funny though. Here, I got something for you. You're gonna need this. You drive Subarus, right? Yeah. You a big fan of them? Yeah. You're gonna need that. Show your homies. He just gave me a head gasket. It looks like this. I'm hanging with this guy for the rest of the day. Yes, you are. I got a chair for you. Stop by anytime you want. I have tried everything to get these damn nadass 25s to stop leaking, and I'm desperate enough at this point to resort to voodoo. Why hand them out to other people? Consider it a public service. You're welcome. Not only was I handing those out, but I was also wearing this shirt that, surprisingly, most people didn't even acknowledge. I'm guessing they were too distracted by the car to notice. Or maybe they were too intimidated by my sheer testicular fortitude to mention it. Who knows? One fella who did notice it just said, I like your shirt. I don't agree with it, but I like it. Ah uh, yes, the duality of man. At one point, I walked past a vendor station and all the people in it just stared, mouths wide open. One dude just shaking his head in disapproval. Here's some memorable quotes that I heard while at the event. No, he broke down on the way. Kind of speaks for itself, really. My favorite car here. Thank you, and I'm sorry that your standards are this low. Most reliable Subaru here. I actually heard this one a lot, even from the Subaru guys. Especially from the Subaru guys. At least this is the most reliable Subaru out here, right? That's what everybody tells me. I want to see somebody uh, reliably make more horsepower than them. <laughs> is this a case walk? Yes, it is. You weren't reliable. <laughs> I mean, you get sick of blowing up EJs, I guess. Vape noises. Not sure on this one, just wrote it down at the time. And my favorite, this thing's not a gigantic fan of idling, it likes to get hot. One of the vendors said that about a heavily modified WRX they brought. I'm sure it does like to get hot, pal. DM me. To be fair, I'm sure that the people parked around me got tired of hearing me say the same lines over and over, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do for the content. When entering the official car show, I didn't intend to actually compete. I went there solely to mess with the Subaru bros because, let's be honest, they're easy targets. But since I was entered in the car show, I had to pick a class to compete in. Since my car didn't particularly fit into any of these classes, I just checked the other box. And I ended up placing third in other, which all things considered is pretty good. But not good enough. You want to know what took first? A friggin' SVX. There is nothing more other than bringing a car that had something other than a boxer to Boxerfest. And I'll die on that hill. Did you want to know what the judge's justification for this was? Oh, well, because there's not a lot of SVXs on the road. Yeah, I know the feeling. And I can already hear all you dweebs saying, um, actually, it's Boxerfest. What's this event called? Uh, Boxerfest. All right, thank you. Just making sure. Can you just tell me where we are real quick? Oh, we're boxing business. All right, thank you. Can you tell me what that is? That looks like a Honda. Better. Is this a, a Honda convention? Honda fest. Yeah. Can you tell me where we are real quick? Uh. What's this event called? Uh, uh it's actually a super 
I forgot the boxer fest. Boxer fest. <laughs> boxer fest. All right. Honda Fest? Or Honda? Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, Honda, Honda, Honda Fest, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Boxer Fest. Boxer Fest. I don't know. Uh, yeah, not Honda Fest. Boxer and here we are. Crazy how nature does that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the car show is literally called the All Subaru Car Show, and they let a friggin' portion. So methinks maybe they're willing to bend the rules a little bit. But don't you worry, Boxer Fest, I got a little something special planned for next year. All right, let's wrap this up. Overall, Boxer Fest was a ton of fun. I got to talk to many wonderful people. There were cool cars, good music, and everybody was frankly a good sport about my antics. I look forward to visiting again next year and reminding all those Subaru owners to keep an eye on those coolant temps. Thanks for watching. I know it's been a hot minute since I put out a video, but I didn't want to put anything out there unless I had something actually interesting to release. I've been driving this car for a while now, and I plan to do an update video on how it's been running and how all those eBay parts have been holding up. I also have another project that I've been working on. Cue the sound clip. So look forward to that. Until then, bye for now. I haven't even blinked. I know. <laughs> I'm like a guard outside the Royal Palace. I brought a K swap Subaru to, to Boxer Fest. You can't scare me. <laughs> oh, hey, come here. I have something for you. Yes. Enjoy. Thanks, man. Have fun. I got the two red things right there. Oh, well, I got something for you. You're going to need this. <laughs> I got some for you. <laughs> yeah, you can have one too. Oh, great. I do need these. Thank you. That is cool. My God. That's funny. <laughs> That's cool. That's that is so funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Take this. <laughs> I'm not joking. It'll keep you safe. There you go. That's all right. Actually sick, not gonna lie. That'll keep you good. There you go. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. You're gonna need that more than I am now, aren't you? Just in case. It'll bring you good luck. That's awesome. Oh, here. You got some GCs, right? You're gonna need this more than I will. Enjoy. <laughs> I need one now. I need two. Got another one? <laughs> <laughs> he needs it more than I do. <laughs> I got something for you though. You're gonna need this more than I will at this point. Oh yeah? Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> nice. That's adorable.